Okay, I thought it would be fun to take a break from our usual style video to do a push for 500 subscriber video where we give the community a chance to do input on an upcoming video that we plan on doing here in the next few weeks. Now the video that we have planned, we might as well just get to that, is I have six different types of personal protection home defense concealed carry ammo for 380 that we are going to put through the chronograph and a water jug test to assess both its performance and the hollow point expansion of these rounds through the LCP Max and then the SIG P365-3080. The first ammo that I have for us to test is this Norma MHP, it's monolithic hollow point, which is a 85 grain projectile. Now the advertised velocity on this is 1280 feet per second. That's 380 foot-pounds of energy and they say they get that out of a 6 inch barrel. Now I don't have a 6 inch barrel 380 to test it out of, but we're going to find out how it does out of the LCP Max and the SIG. The next ammo that I have for us to test is this Winchester Silver Tip. This is an 85 grain defensive jacketed hollow point round. The advertised velocity on the box was 1,000 feet per second. They said 189 foot pounds of energy. You'll notice that's quite a bit different than what the Norma ammo quotes on their box. I suspect the Winchester wasn't tested out of a 6 inch barrel, but we're going to find out and see how it does out of the two guns as well. The third ammo that I have to test is this Remington HTP, that's High Terminal Performance. It's 88 grain jacketed hollow point ammo. And I was un unable to find a advertised velocity on this ammo, so we're going to find out how it does for ourselves out of the SIG and the LCP Max. The fourth ammo I have for us to test is one that we have tested before. This is the Sierra Outdoor Master 90 grain JHP. Now we did chronograph and meet target this test ammo, meet target test this ammo in the past. Advertised velocity is about 981 feet per second. I think we got in the 940s, and we got no meet uh, hollow point expansion through the meet target. So we're going to see how it does through the water jug test and see if it's any different through the SIG versus the LCP Max we tested last time. The fifth ammo I have for us to test is one of our favorites. This is the Hornaday Critical Defense 90 grain FTX like a ballistic tip. Now the advertised velocity is a thousand feet per second. When we tested this before out of the Glock G42 and the LCP Max, we got an average velocity around 947 feet per second, I believe. And we got very good to good expansion on the hollow point rounds as well. So we're going to see how it does again through the LCP Max and this time the SIG, and then assess the hollow point expansion through a water jug test. The sixth ammo I have for us to test is one that should not be an expanding ammo from what I understand. This is not a hollow point round. This is the Underwood 90 grain extreme penetrator. It kind of looks like a Phillips head screwdriver tip. Now this has an advertised velocity of 1100 feet per second and there are nice words like superior and high performance on the box. Well, we're going to find out how well it does out of the LCP Max and the SIG P365 and find out for ourselves. Definitely looking forward to it. Now another thing I have for us to test taking a break from firearms and ammo is something that I sent to somebody and also got one for myself to test out and see how it does. The Grail Ultra Press Water Purification System. Now I've seen these reviewed online and know a few people that have them. They say that they should remove uh, all pathogens, 99.9% .9 of viruses, bacteria, protozoan, and also filter particulates and do a whole bunch of other wonderful stuff that we're going to test. Say it has unrivaled ease and speed. Well, I have no idea, so I'm going to find out. You'll notice when we do the shot, uh, saying this video a shot at banner range, that there are some water and lakes around. We're going to scoop some up, put it through the filter, and see how it looks in the microscope, and then also with a water test strip. Do that before and after putting it through the grail press and find out how it does. Now, one thing I also want to mention is all of the products in this video and that we are going to be testing are products that we have paid for using our own money. No one has sent us any of these products, uh, none of these firearms we have been paid to review. No one has asked us to review these. These are all being done using our own money because we are just interested in seeing how these things perform and thought it would be useful you know, to pass that information along. So if you have questions that you would like to see us answer while creating these videos or other things you would like to see us test, let us know in the comments. And we're on our way pushing to get 500 subscribers so we get access to some more features in YouTube. 
So it would really help us out a lot if you would hit that subscribe button and help us get that way. So I hope you're looking forward to these next videos. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a good day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <coughs> so Freddy gets his biscuits.